Breaking news, tragedy on Lake Fairview in Orlando. A lightning strike sends five students out rolling into the water. And tonight, one student is still missing. It's an active scene with plenty of law enforcement out searching. West Houston tonight, Gabriel is there live. And tonight, what's the status of the investigation right now? Orlando Fire says they are going to use every diver they have until they find this missing student. They've been out here in Lake Fairview searching since the call came in before 6 p.m. when a rowing team, we are told, was out here practicing. They're not sure if lightning struck the boat or the area, but when it hit, the boat flipped over. Take a look at this video a viewer sent us that appears to show the vessel overturned on the lake. Officials tell us there were five people on it, one of which is the person that is missing. Another one is in the hospital. We're waiting to learn how this student is doing. The other three students are back with their parents, and we've been seeing some people waiting as divers have been searching. Many of them are shaken up by this. We spoke with one woman off camera who tells us she knows the parents of the missing student. She says her daughter passed away a few years ago and was friends with this missing student. She's just so heartbroken and shaken up by the news. And take a listen to what Orlando Fire says about their search efforts. Uh, we're currently using uh, our, our search patterns and we've identified where we believe that the uh, boat was capsized and we're searching off of that. However, we're going to be using some additional technology, uh, sonar, uh, from uh, some of our partners in the area that are going to come out and assist us to see if we can locate uh, the missing child. Along with Orlando Fire, Orlando Police is here, and again, the city's dive team is also here. There is a sign behind me that says North Orlando Rowing. We believe that is the name of this facility where the teams have been practicing. When we went up, when we went online to check out this name and go on their website, we saw a calendar. It showed some scheduled practicing for today. Two teams were scheduled to practice between 3.50 and 6.30 p.m. One of the teams was JV slash varsity. The other one was middle school. And after speaking with Orlando Fire, they told us they believe the team that was out here with the five people on the boat were middle schoolers. Again, we're just going to wait here and learn more information as soon as we do. We'll bring it to you. Orlando Fire says they are committed to staying here throughout the night as long as they have enough divers until they find this missing student. We're live in Orlando, Sniger Brigadigas, Washington News.